glad to have you join us this morning, Sir Chikwe Udense. Thank you for having okay, me. The great. network is horrible. Uh, very bad. Now, I think we can have a smooth conversation like this. Uh, why the initiative? Why uh, are you offering um, palliative for pensioners in Abia State? I, I, did, I did not initiate it. Okay. Uh, I did not initiate it. I was on a, for three, uh, four weeks ago, I was on a program on a, uh, the open parliament. Okay. And a caller, a caller uh, came in, Mr. Chinedu Obilo, which is pop, who is popularly called um, Yeri Oba. He came and informed us on the platform that there's very big problem with uh, the pensioners in uh, Abia State. As it as it has to do with their pension payments, so we asked him to find out what it is on open parliament, uh, not FM. It was based on this that we realized that there was an enormous problem, serious problem associated with the payments of uh, pensioners in the state, and they have not been paid some for for 21 months. Uh, when somebody puts in 35 years of his youth to, to the service of his state and the nation. And then when he cannot fit for himself anymore, uh, nobody is talking to him about his pension. That is why we came in. And we decided to help. That is how it all started. It's not, it's not my initiative. It is the initiative of Mr. Chinedu Obilo, okay. uh, popularly called Ieri on a, on a, on a parla parliament uh, program. Okay, if I may ask, uh, what is the, the palliative about uh, can you can we have the details of the, the palliative, palliative, the pa and the palliative we wanted to we wanted to find out how many um pensioners we have so we can be able to see if it is what we can carry mm. and then how much we are able to help help them with and we also wanted to make sure we are helping only indigent pensioners okay uh, some pensioners are, are richer than my humble self so we said let us just put money where the needs are that is how I came out. That is how we all started. And uh, it all went into a very big problem with the state government because uh, they did not want it to happen. Okay, when you say it has uh, gone into a big problem with the state government, can we have the details? Because we've also been on this well, and the, some of these the, uh, the, pensioners the state have complained. The state government have directed the pension uh, uh, team, the, 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 um, the uh, heads of the pension team, not to cooperate with us, mm. uh, not to give us any information. In fact, uh, the chairman of uh, the pension union began to use some kind of derogatives, saying that we shouldn't do what we're doing. And in fact, uh, the last time I was told by Ms. Obila that they are requesting that we, whatever money we have for the pensioners should be given to them to distribute to the pensioners. Mm. Uh, how can that happen? We already know that they are doing a very poor job right now. How can we uh, escalate very poor job they are doing by giving them more money to give to pensioners? So what we are doing now is to make sure we get the records of pensioners ourselves. We must have to find a way to help them. And we want to start by the first week in um, December to help them so that we can put something on the table for them for Christmas. Interesting. Now, uh some issues are being raised because we've tried uh, our own background checks here and uh, we've done it and uh, the ndup came out and said uh, there is a, a chain of command that uh, the you, uh, you as an individual should have reached out to them i don't know if you've reached out to them sir Chico, yes uh, I, yes yeah. we did yes we did severally we reached out to the uh nigeria union uh, of pensioners yeah, State Council. yes yeah. But they refused initially, according to what Mr. You can you can verify from Mr. Obila, mm. from Chilean Obila, they refused to cooperate with him. They didn't want to hear from him at all. So oh. that was the initial problem. And uh, uh, in fact, uh, Chilean Obila informed me that they said that government have warned them not to cooperate with them. So if that is the situation, what do we do? Mm. Are we going to stop the palliative we want to give? No, we're not going to stop it. We're certainly going to make sure that uh, the palliative gets to wait or to get to. Okay, let, let's uh, get uh, the basis of this uh, initiative because some persons are adding uh, a political coloration to to it. You know, you being a member of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, which is an opposition party in the state, uh, saying maybe it is for political gains. I don't know how you want to react to that uh, line of thought. Well, I did, I, like I told you earlier, I did not initiate it. Mm. 
But if they say it is for political gains, let get them benefit in the first instance. I did not initiate it. It was initiated by Mr. Obila. However, for whatever reason it is, let pensioners get some money. Whatever you call it. Uh, if you call it eye service, let us use this eye service to make sure the pensioners benefit. If you call it uh, whatever name you call it, call it politics. But let us use politics to make sure the pensioners are paid. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I, I did not initiate it. It was initiated by somebody else. But I, but I support it. In fact, it has opened my eyes into the sufferings of the pensioners in the state. Uh, if anybody is wanting to stop this help and calling it names, they are being unfair. They are being wicked. They are being dishonest. Allow the pensioners who are suffering right now to benefit from anybody. Even if you want devil to bring money and give to them, let the devil bring the money and give to them. They are suffering. They are in trouble. Now the, they are hungry. The hiccups, they are dying. The, the hiccups and the hitches that uh, you've uh, come across in the process of uh, uh, helping, of course, uh, helping the pensioners uh, in Abia State, will it stop you uh, from the party if you, you don't, it, intend giving you don't them? Even know, you don't even know who I am. It will never stop me. It will energize me the more to make sure I help them. It will make me make more sacrifices in ensuring that I put funds across to help them. In fact, this this crisis initiated by the government have made me see more of the problems. Over 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 thirty five percent of these pensioners are already disabled. They are, they are, most of them cannot even cannot even uh, move around. So we are always wanting to find a situation where we can reach them. That is why we are saying. Let us not have a situation where they gather everywhere, out of them gathering one one position. No. Let us have a situation where we can reach them through the accounts. We have gotten some local governments. We have gotten right now about six local governments. Okay. Out of the 17 local governments. So we shall commence with the ones we have while awaiting the other government other other um, local governments to bring their list. However, we are going to verify these lists with the with the banks. And we have commenced the process of making sure that these are genuine uh, pensioners. And with the little we have, we shall give to them to help them. The, the group that came to my office uh, some two weeks ago, uh, we gave them some pantry, 10,000 10, each. And some of them were saying that their, their pension is even uh, uh, twice less than what I have given them. Some are earning 4,000 naira, some are earning 7,000. 7,000 as pension and you cannot pay them and they are hungry they are dying they cannot take themselves the, the medical, medical medical treatments excuse me excuse me what could be more wicked what could be more dishonest if anybody is bringing money let us take the money from them in fact if Boko Haram brings money for pensioners said we shall collect money from Boko Haram and pay the pensioners they are dying for goodness sake and if the state government is going to have this kind of wicked attitude, an attitude of refusing even anybody who wants to help them, let anybody who wants to help them come. I've appealed to all uh, public spirited Afghans. I've appealed to all of them, come and help the pensioners. They are dying. They are suffering. Okay. They can't even take care of themselves anymore. This is unfortunate. And we, it, is, it is very disheartening. Very, very disheartening. Uh, Nobody can stop me. Nobody can stop me. I'm going to make sure the little I have, the little help I can have. I don't care what name they put to it. I don't care what name they call me. I will make sure I help the pensioners. Period. Okay, just just before I let you go this morning, because uh, we are aware of your very busy schedule and uh, uh, you creating time for, uh, to speak to us despite that uh, very busy schedule. Now, uh, just before I let you go, we want to ask you uh, how are the uh, how are the other pensioners are going to benefit from it i mean those that are not yet on the list that you have and they intend to benefit from it do uh, and unfortunately these hiccups uh, uh, might not allow their names to be on the list that you have already fortunately we have telephone numbers attached to them that is why i'm recruiting staff right now competent staff to help us to shield the wheat from the uh uh from the uh, rest of the grains. Okay. Let us make sure that those we are helping are those who are in need. Not just every pension, pensioner. You see, you can see some of these uh, 
retired uh, uh, palm sex that have so much money is with them, that have so much properties everywhere. Are we going to give them some more money? No. We're talking about indigent pensioners. Mm. Those pensioners that have genuine need, that's where we are concentrated. So we are, we are commencing the process of sealing the wheat, like I said, from the shaft. Uh, we have to make sure that those we are going to help are those who are really in need. We have commenced that. We are making calls. And we are, let me use this opportunity to tell Abian pensioners do not listen to anybody who tells you you don't need my help. If they have the monies to pay you, they can pay you. Then you don't need me. But if they cannot help you and somebody wants to help you, please do not listen to that nonsense. Don't listen to that. It is just wicked. I'm urging them to please those who have need and those who can who can reach. We are going to help them and we're going to do it as soon as we can by December. All right. We want to really appreciate you for speaking to us this morning, Sir Chikwe Udense, of course, uh, Interpol mm. System expert and, of course, the uh, Chieftain of the All Progressive Grand Alliance. Thank you very much for speaking to us this morning on the platform. Thank you very much. Uh, we are, we are, yeah, Interpol. I just had to steal our time to talk to you. All right. Have a nice day, my dear. Thank, thank, you, thank you so very much. much. Oh, thank you so much. We do appreciate you.